Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Fiona and I'm a full-time artist. And on this channel, I like to take you with me on my artistic journey, whether that means working on projects here in my studio, going out to see art exhibits, buying art supplies and sharing my haul with you, basically any art related content. So if that sounds like something you're into, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out and I would really appreciate it. So what I am currently doing is picking out paints and doing a color chart because I am doing another public art event. It will be in New Milford, New Jersey, and it's called Art Takes the Bench. And essentially they have a night out where the town comes out and there's festivities and there'll be live painting. And once I'm done painting the bench, it will then go into a local spot that people can use from there forward. Um, but anywho, the big thing today is getting all my supplies and getting ready. Um, and the interesting part about my design is I went with uh, similar to a previous mural I did, which I'll show here, uh, those shapes. But then to add a little twist to it for the event, I'm letting people leave fingerprints in certain areas uh, and calling it the spirit of New Milford. Um, just to, you know, add a little twist and let the community participate. So I definitely have to get gloves, I have to get hand wipes. I have a lot of the paints already, which is great. Um, I'm gonna fill like little cups like these with paints so people can, you know, dip their gloved finger in and leave a print. Um, but anywho, that's what I was thinking. So I'm going to finish looking at what paints I have and then head over to Home Depot. So let's do it. Hi friends, just checking back in to say that I am heading over to New Milford to start the bench project. Let's go. Everything is still being set up. They are just bringing out the benches. So I'm going to get stuff unpacked out of my car and show you a new toy that I got. Considering all of these public art projects, this has been a necessity I've needed for quite some time. Ta-da! So I got myself a dolly so I can load it up with paints and roll stuff around. <laughs> All right, let's do this.
finish this up, but I'm gonna come back tomorrow, clean it up, make it look presentable. <laughs> but it was so much fun. See you tomorrow. All right, I'm back. You can see everything's been cleared out. It's very quiet now, but I am going to get my paints out and hopefully finish up this bench. Let's do it. So here's where they're storing the benches. Here's mine. You can see people had a lot of fun coloring it in. I did repeatedly say anything in the white would be covered up, but people still did that, um, but that's okay. I think once that's all kind of carved out and I can clean up these shapes that I made yesterday, it'll look really good. So I'm gonna get working on it. Okay, so this is where we finish for the day. I got the front pretty much all cleaned up and tomorrow I just have to add a few shapes to the back. And then I'm just gonna go in tomorrow and add just a little more texture into um, the shapes that exist and do any sort of final cleanups. That's it. So yeah, I think it's gonna look really cute. See ya. Morning, I'm back, back, back again. Today we are going to finish. So I'm gonna get the paints out of the car and jump into it. All right, all my finger painting is done and now I'm going to seal it. So that's why I have a little face on. Okay, that's it all sealed. Let me show you up close. So you can see the seals add a little gloss to it, but it's also helped the colors pop more. Yeah, like you can see, it's glossy now. It'll take 
probably about two hours to cure and should be good to go. Um, Emily, um, my fellow artist, the one that did the fish bench over there, very kindly offered me her spray sealant. Um, and it's oil-based. Um, but the problem was, is it left, you can see kind of a yellow, oh, sorry, construction. It left kind of a yellow tint, which looks great um, with her piece, but wouldn't have worked as well for mine. So I ended up using this, um, which is water-based. It does take a few more coats. I would have gotten the oil-based one, but they didn't have it when I was shopping. So this is what I got just out of curiosity for you. If you're thinking, what could I use to seal outdoor furniture that has paint on it? But anywho, um, that's it. I think she looks very cute. They're going to add a plaque on the back here or here. I'm not quite sure where. Um, but anywho, it's noisy. I'm going to just clean up and get out of here. But anywho, that's it. Thank you for coming along on this <laughs> journey. And I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, stay well and stay inspired, my friends. Bye.